Beats. We're alive in TikTok land. How's everybody doing out there? This is Jam and Jamie. I'm back from a week hiatus where uh, Ryan took care of the business here. While I was gone, we talk him Ryan going rogue is what we talk about. Mm -hmm. And he had some fun with you guys about some of the products that we sell. And I uh, wanted to hear more about what you thought of them. Anyway, I'll talk about uh, some other things that are going on. Ryan is here again today. Say hey, Ryan. Hello. He's here to share with us a little bit more we need to talk about today. We are going to talk about some leather products. So we got a couple of items that I want to highlight for you that I think you might be interested in. Uh, but I want to talk about a couple other things too. I want to talk about Bike Week. We got Myrtle Beach Bike Week. It is one of the largest uh, bike rallies in the nation. Uh, one of the top 10, I think. And uh, you'd probably be, be surprised as to what else you can do in Myrtle Beach while you're here if you happen to come to Myrtle Beach for vacation or for bike week. We'd love to have you come and stop into Jam and Leather while you're here in Myrtle Beach area. We're right in the heart of Myrtle Beach, so you can't miss us when you're gonna go past us one time or another, that's for sure. So uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit, uh, bike week. And we also wanna talk about uh, what, Ryan, you were sharing with me earlier, what was the, what? how many, this is the question, how many products does the average person wear on a daily basis. Well, leather products, to be specific. That's what I was getting to. <laughs> <laughs> leather products, the, how many does the average person wear when wearing leather products? So we wanna make sure that you're aware of some of the facts about leather, because we're here, the, we're the experts, the real experts. We've been around since 1979, doing the same thing, selling similar products, all the way along we design manufacturing has been selling since then so you want to make sure that you're checking out all the stuff that we have to offer we have some unique and exclusive products that are only available at jam leather so hey this is one of them what do you think ryan just came in oh very nice it's is that part of the new uh 230 skews that we have and this is this is one of the newest ones it's also it's a leather shirt without the collar you see it has no collar here it's really neat and it's got a zipper now and so it's an updated version of an older one that we have and what you want a leather shirt for is basically you want something that's going to be a little bit more different that you want a lightweight jacket that you can wear almost year round so it's great for certain areas. You want a jacket that you can carry with you that's not too bulky, not too big. This one's a nice light lambskin, super nice zipper and snaps along the front. This one's too small for me, as you can tell, but it's a great looking item. So we'll check that out in a little bit. So right in there. Okay, so like we said earlier, now you're probably wondering, you know, how many different items a person would, would wear, right, Ryan? That's right, leather products. What kind of leather products do you wear on a daily basis? Can you can you think of any? If you want to, if you have a, put a comment there, just throw in your thoughts. We're glad, glad to see see your thoughts on those. But Ryan, give me one of the items that everybody wears: leather. Ooh, everyone wears. Everyone. I, I would say probably a belt. A leather belt. Everybody got a leather belt, so there's one item. Give me another one, Ryan. Ooh, someone here has like a wallet or purse. A wallet or purse, that's also a great item, and we sell a lot of them. So can you think of another item in leather that you wear on a daily basis? Ooh. Well, depending on some people, maybe a jacket. Ooh. You could wear a jacket depending on the season. Absolutely, a leather jacket. What else? Oh, you can be wearing some uh, leather bootstraps. <laughs> shoes is what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody, you know, everybody has a pair of leather shoes, and usually they're mostly made out of leather. You got the PVC ones; they don't last so long. Those are the ones you get from Walmart for ten bucks or five bucks or nothing. You don't want that garbage. Anyway, you want real leather because it's going to last a long time. And what's nice about leather and a shoe, it actually forms with you after you wear it for a while, just like a jacket or a vest or something, a pair of pants. It would actually form with you a little bit more and get a little more comfortable. It doesn't necessarily stretch but it does get a little more comfortable to wear because it gets a little more broken in. So it's basically one of many. But as Ryan had just said, sometimes you would wear accessories to uh, in leather. And one of the examples we'll talk about today is here. We got some boot chains. Oh, I'll show you this one first. Boot chains, and here's one of the many styles of bootstraps that we have available. And it's made of also leather. It's a great item. And we make it here at Jam and Leather. And one of our exclusive items, it's got the crystal inlay, which is actually a, a plastic coated, and it's got a, a chrome plating on it, chrome uh, sh sh sheen on it. And we've had these for a very long time, and this, I've never seen these crystals, these fake crystals, 
genuine fake crystals, uh, ever look dull. And that's to be honest with you. And it's been over 10 years since we've had the same ones available and been using them. No, con no concern with quality. And, 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 but this is a boot chain and this particular bootstrap, it comes in the left or right. And it's usually this one here with the crystal is generally in the ladies' sizes, so it's the smaller one. So you have a smaller boot, a little bit smaller. It's got a chain that goes underneath, that attracts underneath. It's got a buckle on the one side, so you can adjust it to the size boots that you got. It's basically one size fits all, and you can buy them as a single or a pair. We have them on Etsy, also Jam and Leather, shop.jamandleather.com. It's one of the two places that you can get. I think it's also on TikTok. This one, maybe I'm not exactly sure but it may be but if it's not check out our website we appreciate that as well now another uh, very popular boot chain which is new for us and I'll show you here and it's the same idea you got the bottom chain goes underneath the boot and you got the two top chains it's got the buckle on the one side so you can adjust it to the size that you need it's got several holes on the other side so make it work now this one's a little bit more fancy as you can see here it's a little bit more of a beveled chain which is a more of a jewelry type chain it's really much nicer looking than some of the bulky chain ones that we have but uh, this one's really really cute and very popular for us so check that out it comes in two sizes uh, men's and women as well and it's also a little bit nicer looking than the classic one we've been selling for a long time we have quite a few varieties of uh, boot chains available here at jam and leather right ryan that's right and earlier when you're asking what uh, other products people were wearing uh D. Morrill got it right and said footwear. Footwear. Yeah. He's absolutely right. What are you going for? Yep, so if you don't wear, you, some people, I mean, if you're on stage, you'd wear a lot more leather, wouldn't you, wouldn't you, Ryan? Can you think of all the celebrities, the, all the leather goods we talked about in the past, of all the leather that they wear on stage? Uh, Let's talk about pants. Leather pants, real popular on stage for you performers out there. Look great and great on the on stage as well. The, another popular you about fringe jacket. Who was the most popular fringe jacket out there, and who wore it? Do you remember who that was? A rock and roller. Come on, out of the '80s. Anybody jump in? Just jump in. Anybody there? Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask the comments for help. I'm gonna need them to need some comments. Let me know. <laughs> well, there's a lot of leather out there. Obviously, it was. Bon Jovi. So let's just say you've seen the jacket with Bon Jovi in the 80s. It came out in a Slippery When Wet album came out. He wore that jacket in quite a few of his videos and it got real popular for all the leather retailers. That's one of the ones. We still carry it today. If you want to check out our website, type in Fringe Jacket and it'll be one of the few that show up. So check that out. Okay, Ryan, let's see. We've got a couple other things to talk about today. Can you think of something to talk about? Yes, you already talked about our new weather shirts. Why don't you talk about some of the other? Leather shirts that we have to offer. Leather shirts. Okay. Or, uh, I mean, the blazers, I think, today, but yes. <laughs> we do. As you can see in the picture there, for those who are watching us live, you can see us several leather shirts. We have a we have a short sleeve leather shirt. We have the long sleeve leather shirts. And we also have for the ladies and the men in quite a few varieties. The ladies' shirts uh, are also available. We have them in gray and tan and obviously black. So if you want a lightweight shirt that's really good, as I was showing you earlier, this one here is one of the, one of the leather shirts that we have here. And uh, I'll show you. This one here is a premium one. It's got no collar, which is actually quite nice because then you don't have to worry about it getting in the way. If you're riding, you don't have to worry about it flapping in the wind or whatever. So that's what's real nice. It's got two lower pockets, two chest snap pockets, a zipper on the front. It's got uh, a top load pocket here for your cell phone, another top load pocket here, and also another top load pocket here. Really nice leather shirt. For the guys or we have them for the ladies too we have similar ones for the ladies so check out our variety of leather shirts because nobody has more of leather shirts than jam and leather does so check it out i think i'm gonna i think i got a, a actual count here hmm no i don't have the actual count okay but as far as leather jackets are concerned jam and leather has a hundred currently on the website a hundred different styles of leather jackets for men and currently 115 ladies styles of leather jackets here and maybe even a couple of them are right there Just ah. about th <laughs> i think there's like third 14 15 of them that actually fall into that category so sort sort the uh, column and check that out and you'll be surprised how how nice some of those jackets really really are especially for that kind of price 50 bucks nobody has it except jam and leather genuine leather nothing is fake 
genuine leather all throughout the website so check that out so we just want to know that our prices are great prices compared to many other people out there and our other websites and we want to make sure that you know that you're getting genuine leather not the pvc stuff you see at other places that are not jam leather just saying right right that's right okay so we talked about leather shirts there's a lot of options of leather shirts here but let's talk about something else what you got there ryan well, I mentioned the uh, leather blazer. Ah, today. is Vincent here? <laughs> Vincent, where are you? Are you here, Vincent? You see, he bet you he's not here because he's the one that keeps asking every single time. He says, "Where's the leather blazers?" Well, this one here is one that we have in both men's tall and regular. This one here happens to be the tall, the tall men's leather blazer. It's a three-button front blazer. It's a classic uh, style. It's got the notch collar, as you can see here. Jam and Leather brand. You can see with the eagle there, that's our Jam and Leather logo. It's also got a little hanky pocket right there for you. And two lower flat pockets. And these flat pockets can be tucked in so you can wear it both ways. So it depends on what style you're looking for. You like that look or that look. Either way, you've got a uh, different pocket design that you can use. A uh, real nice option here. Classic, it's got a little split in the back. It's for you, so you're easy to make it more comfortable to walk in. But this one's a tall, so the tall would be about three inches longer in the sleeve, three inches longer in the body than a regular. So just make sure you know that if you're ordering tall, if you need it. Let's say if you're six foot two and taller, you need tall. It's just my experience over many, many years of selling six foot two tall or six foot one you're kind of on the cusp of whether you really need to depend if you think you've got a long torso then maybe you do need to tall so this one here is just a classic it's, it's, a, it's gonna I'm, I'm five foot ten so there's no way this is gonna look correct on me but it'll be a little bit long for me but let's see if i can get it undone i'm fighting with this you think i should have had this done in advance no Okay, on the inside here, you see it's got a top load pocket here for your letters or your cell phone, whatever you want to put in there. And a basic, nice, soft satin lining, as you can see here. Really nice jacket for the men who want something that's a little bit more of a casual jacket, lightweight jacket, because it's a lambskin, but it's also super nice and very, very classy. Very uh, out, uh, this has been around for decades, let's put it that way. Been around a long time, and people are wearing it as a lightweight jacket, similar to a shirt. But it's a much nicer idea so you can wear it a little more look a little more professional when you're out and about for even work or play okay ryan we got another jacket here i want to talk about one jacket that's super super nice that uh, uh it's a first brand it's a really really nice quality first brand and it has a removable hoodie Ooh. the hoodie the hood actually let me say as you can see here the hood zips off Let's see if i get the right angle the hood sips off so you don't have to wear the hood at all if you don't like it but uh, it is nice to have a little extra uh, hoodie to make give you a little different more of an updated look as if you're wearing a hoodie underneath and it is a premium uh <coughs> goat looks like it feels like goat skin leather but what's really nice about it, it's a medium medium weight but it's got that vintage antiquing brown all over it as you can see in a real close-up you can see where the, the uh, antiquing is all over the jacket to make it look like a well loved look but really nice it's got the zipper and snaps on the front it's also got quite a few great features obviously it's got the ccw pocket here it's got the barrel loop on the inside if you'd like to carry a piece with you otherwise it's a great big pocket for your cell phone your easter candy your christmas candy your valentine's can just because i work i do i use the candy just for my candy that's what i, <laughs> I use that little candy stash <laughs> your candy stash let's just uh, put it that way it's also got a full sleeve zip out liner which is super nice let me see if i can get this on it's a little bit of a challenge, but I'll show it to you anyway. Ah, here we go. There we go. Now, does it look like I'm ready for, for a nice warm ride? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Super nice jacket, as you can see here. Two top load pockets here. Two top zippered vents here. It's got the nylon mesh on the inside, so you can let the air go through. And you got zipper vents. Where are also the zipper vents? I don't remember. Let's see. Right here. Is it here? No. Across the back. Yeah, it's sort of on the back. Like Horiz horizontal? Like in between your shoulder blades. Okay, yes. 
This is horizontal in the back. Here we go. It's got the heavy duty front zipper, zip out line as you can see here. And one thing I want to show you here is on the inside, I can't think with that thing on my head. It's got this little spot right here. You see this material right here? Can you see it, Ryan? Yeah, it's like a little piece, right? Okay. It's got that's that is a stretch material between the sleeve liner and the jacket vest liner. Now they're attached to each other, so your sleeve liner goes to about here and attached with a snap or a button. And uh, that way it stretches when you're reaching for the handlebars, whatever, and doing a lot of work. You can also, it'll be a lot more comfortable to do that. Let me get this hanger here. And uh, that makes the, the liner less stressed so it doesn't tear in the future. And what's real nice about this, it's also got the bi swing back shoulder, which actually gives you a better reach when you reach for the handlebar, steering wheel, whatever you're doing, ATV. Super, super nice jacket. That's what I couldn't see. Because when I had it on, I can't see the zipper. There's a zipper, horizontal zipper vent to let the air out the back as well. Super nice jacket, great quality, great fitting, great looking. Zipper on the cuff, let the air in and out. A little snap on the cuff to keep it close if you'd like. Great item in all leather. There we go. Okay, Ryan, is there something else you want to talk about? Well, we got a little comment about the trivia, so why don't we go to the uh, trivia answer? Okay, what's the trivia, other uh, trivia answer? All right, well, from the comment we got from uh, DG, he, uh, they said uh, four or six, you know, with they were thinking along the lines of boots, gloves, mm -hmm. jacket, belt, vest, and wallet, and you're saying give or take those couple items. Yep, those, those are just, just a few of the regular yeah. items. And so uh, the answer is drum roll. Four. The four. The average yeah. average consumer has four different leather products on their person on an average day. Is that right, Ryan? That's right. With items such as shoes, a belt, a wallet, or even a strap on, like a wristwatch, for example. Strap on. That was didn't sound good, but I got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Ryan's going uh, PG thirteen. There we go. Oh, okay. I, I like this comment from DG. He okay. says, give Ro Ryan a pay raise. He's been doing a good job holding down the fort while you were gone. <laughs> Thank you. I D agree. <laughs> Thank you, DG. I'll see what I can do for him. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Okay. He held down the fort. He did a good job while I was gone. Okay. So, but we have other things to talk about, too, other than uh, knowing that there's at least, everybody has at least four different items in leather on them at all times. So we know that mm -hmm. on average. So. Yeah. Why don't we talk about some of the uh, leather vests that we have? Leather vests. We've got a couple. I want just two. I want to talk about today. Just two leather vests I want to talk about today. And they both happen to be ladies' styles. I just want to show you this one here. This one here is a one of the newer styles here. It comes in the vintage gray. As you can see, the vintage has got that rubbed edge look as well. And a vintage gray skin. Really nice looking in the ladies with zip front. This comes in black as well. But it also has a side lacing. The side lacing is so you can wear it over your jacket if you want to do that. Also allows you to change out the color lacing if you want to some, put something interesting in there. Like I've seen people put silver uh, shoe, shoelace in there looked really really cool but there's many different things they can do it's got two zipper front po pockets soft nylon lining it's got a, uh, a CCW pocket right there holds your piece in place if you decide to carry otherwise it's a great large cell phone pocket one on each side so it doesn't matter if you're lefty or righty you're able to get to your big pocket right there so you can hide all your candy in from Easter Christmas Thanksgiving yeah. All, all the Easter bunny candy or the eggs. All the eggs. You can put the whole dozen eggs in there, and you can surprise all the kids by taking them out of your jacket or vest, whatever the case may be. Or if you're going to Easter egg hunt, you know, you need some place to put the eggs. You don't have a basket, boom, right there. You don't need a basket. Just yeah. wear your leather vest. That's all you need. Really nice vest for the, for the ladies on this particular one. So check that out. Some nice detailing with a couple of stitching on the front and also some fancy stitching on the back, a little bit of nice detail there. Okay, I've got another vest here for you. For the ladies, this one here is exclusive, jam and leather. Now, this is a, a purple, I mean, sorry, sorry, this is a pink. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> this one here is a leather vest for the ladies, snap up front with pink piping. That's what I was trying to say but I didn't, it didn't come out. 
pink piping trim on the front and the back really nice looking it's also got side laces so you can wear it on over your vest you can put pink lacing in there you can put silver lacing in it make it look interesting you can change it out make it look cool it's great so you can put your you can match your motorcycle or your outfit if you'd like two front zipper pockets that's got uh, four front sna zip, uh, snaps on the front heavy duty strong snaps it's got one pocket here and that's a uh, it's got one very deep pocket on this side i don't feel the barrel open there so not there so and also got a pocket right here top load pocket here and a cell phone pocket here on the other side so we've got the three inside pockets as well as the two zippered outside pockets classic design side lacing really nice super nice cowhide leather vest for the ladies with the pink trim really cute great match match a jacket or whatever whatever uh or your motorcycle that's for that matter okay ryan what else we got to talk about today why don't we talk about well we kind of already mentioned the bootstraps a little bit there so maybe you want to if you want to do it again and show it off just for those that missed it out in the beginning bootstraps are very popular for us we also have buffalo nickel styles we have several different versions of the chain style as well it buckles right onto your boots to make them look a little bit more interesting just in case you want something to decorate your boots but general has a large selection we appreciate you hanging us out we're hanging out with us and and checking out what we got we have to do another live on friday at 4 p.m we'll be a little more prepared than we are today because we're never prepared <laughs> <laughs> except for ryan ryan's always prepared That's i'm right. not <laughs> but then if you shop in jam and leather you can get this and then maybe if you're lucky you can apply this right ryan well how do they apply that uh, this automatically applies in your shopping cart you buy the second item it'll be 25 percent off you buy three items only your third item would be 50 percent off so it's either or but check that out when you're shopping shop shop till you drop or should i say buy more save more it's a great deal for those of you shopping jam and leather right ryan yeah i guess one last thing why don't we talk about a little bike week oh a little bit Talk about Bike Week. Myrtle Beach Bike Week is right around the corner. We look forward to seeing you here. And this one is going to be May 13th to 19th. Or should 13th to 18th because Sunday don't count, count the 19th. Okay. 13th to 18th. We have a lot going on over here. We not only have vendors in our parking lot because we're right near the, the Myrtle Beach Airport. And you can't miss us going, going uh, north or south. And you'll see a lot of tents in the parking lot. You also see we'll have uh, several vendors out there. We also have benefit rides. That's all we do. Benefit rides going in and out of here during the week. We have on Tuesday, we're thinking with, we're going to have Legion Riders is going to be on Tuesday. They're going to have a benefit ride for them. And on Wednesday, Crude's uh, Veteran Ride is going to be uh, part of what we do. We'll be doing an auction for them. We'll be doing it at the Myrtle... Um, I'm trying to think of... Uh, Garden City Beach Bar and Grill is where, they, where we're going to be doing the auction for them as well. It's going to be another ride that's on Wednesday. And on Thursday is going to be Baca, Bikers Against Child Abuse. On, on Friday is going to be Nam Knights is going to be supporting veterans and, uh, and the police department. And as well as on Saturday, we have a Christian uh, club called Heaven Saints. They've been with us for a long time, and they'll be doing a charity ride on Saturday of Bike Week. So every single day, we have a bunch going on. So if you want something to do and you want to ride with a bunch of guys, there are a lot of great guys going to be here at Jam and Leather during a day of Bike Week. That's uh, May 13th to 18th. You want to be here for the fun and festivities and maybe even get yourself a beer while you're here. Who knows? Right, Ryan? That's right, and for our fans that have watched a lot of our lives, you know about Nam's Night Nights and uh, Heaven Saints as well, because we did yes. interviews with them. We did interviews with them recently. We'll probably have another interview with them in the near future, so check that out. Maybe this Friday we'll have an interview. We'll let you know. But in the meantime, we'll see you on Fridays and Mondays, 4 o'clock. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you, everybody at TikTok, every place else. And if you're, on, if you're on Twitter, you want to make sure that you follow us. If you're on Instagram, make sure you follow us there, too. On, on Facebook, make sure you like. And on YouTube, make sure you like and, like and subscribe. As well as TikTok, make sure you push the plus and the heart to like and follow us. We look forward to seeing you every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. We appreciate you hanging out. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great week.